Welcome to the Cruise Dudes Podcast with your hosts, Tommy Allison and Scott Andrews. We celebrate the cruise vacation lifestyle. Got your passport and cruise card ready? Welcome aboard to our show. Hey cruisers, I'm still on the Majestic Princess and I had the opportunity to run into Brandon at Future Cruises. It's something that everybody should know about. It's always, I'm gonna let you know Brandon, you guys are always in the back. So you always pass by them, but never come in. Do you know you get Future Cruise credits? You could use it for so many things, but I'm not going to tell you all about it because I don't know. Brandon <laughs> knows everything, and I'm going to learn with you. So, Brandon, what is future cruising? Well, Scott, um, thank you very much for having me. Appreciate that. I'm glad we managed to get some time to do this because a lot, a lot of people know about future cruising and what we can and how we can assist on board in making bookings. Especially, like the biggest thing that I can tell most of our guests, most of our, most of your viewers, for example, as well, is that we actually work hand in hand with travel agents. That's one of the biggest factors that guests don't take into consideration. They see future cruise, they they might be into coming in, they might not, but they don't. You have a lot of people who feel they might be disloyal to their travel agents. Well, in on especially on board our princess ships, we work hand in hand with our travel agents. So any booking we make on board, we actually send it right back to the travel agent to manage the bookings for them. So, so wait a minute. So actually, cr Princess Cruises works with travel agents. Correct. Then it's just not um, the travel agents with a thin princess. That's what I use. <laughs> but it's with other travel agencies. Great vacations to go. Okay. A handful okay. of travel agents actually have been dealing with throughout this cruise as well. And we send the bookings right back to them. That is great. So if you have a travel agent, you could still work through future cruises. Correct. Exactly. So what are future... What, how, how can I get a future cruise credit? I mean, I see a form here. So it's, we have a couple of programs, okay. right? We have the future cruise deposits, which is the mm -hmm. $100 program that most of our guests use. Okay. We've just released Future Cruise Packages as well, which is a big hit currently because the Future Cruise Packages is Princess's way of taking accountability for not only the cruise, but the stay before the cruise, the cruise itself, maybe a stay afterwards, and you get onboard credit in that entire program. So, so you're, you're, we're looking at the, those packages, you would get your hotel rooms correct. and the cruise onboard and, some onboard cre credit. and some onboard credit. Correct. I, I love it. Yeah, I love it. I well, love it. That's like when you go to Alaska and you're, I, I didn't use Future Cruise, but you book your cruise and then you use Easy Air. Exactly. And then, you, and then they book your hotels. They do all of that, but you're doing it yourselves with your money. Correct. Here, you're you're doing it as like a, a package, like you it's said. It's a package deal. And the packages are also nicely built in that if there's any leftover credit, that goes towards if you're planning to put insurance on, if you're planning to use Easy Air, anything that additional on the booking gets paid with the package. Wow, I love it. I love mm -hmm. it. So that's something. Now, what are these packages range? Do they, I mean, is it something that I can get for a couple thousand dollars up oh, to? So we have packages for everybody's pocket. Oh, right? that's what I want to know. Like everybody's, here, everybody's pocket. pocket. Great. So you have a package that starts at three nine nine yeah. all the way up to the ultimate package, which is fourteen nine nine. Fourteen nine nine. Wow. Fourteen nine nine. Now, how long would you? give for somebody to spend that like these so packages the packages the, the duration for the packages are two years two years right okay. so the two years duration the ultimate package is the 14991 actually comes with a lot of extra and additional benefits one of them being an onboard benefit where we make you elite for the duration okay, of wait, your two years wait 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 yes i had you there okay so wait so i booked that fourteen thousand dollar one I am elite for the two years that that money From is there. From the moment you make, and what's even nice is for, we don't take full payment for packages. We can, it's optional yeah. for our guests, um, but we actually have payment plans for packages. The minimum down payment is 40% of whichever package you choose. And at 40%, that activates the package, which makes you elite from that moment. Wow, I love it. I love it. Now, what if um, they don't spend all the money within the two years? They have to reach out to the concierge. Okay. Princess is obviously very lenient with our cancellation policies, our extension right. policies, yes. and so forth, yes. especially with our demographic of guests. So they are very lenient, but we do encourage everybody to use it in the two years. We, but communication is key. 
at the end of the day communication is key especially if you know something is up and it's going to be before the time i'm going to run out of time communication communication so if it's, it's possible say you didn't spend all of it you could call up princess and they'll work with you maybe to extend it or maybe to do something maybe to book that cruise maybe to book that now. cruise exactly and it might be a year out but you're booking that cruise and you know that everything is secure exactly i this is this is great and how about for me sometimes i go under the carnival umbrella. Oh, see, no. see, I've I've heard this phrase. Usually, <laughs> I say carnival corporation, but now I'm going to be using the carnival umbrella. Yeah, because we got you covered. <laughs> got you. I love it. Carnival corporation. What do they? They have you covered. Exactly. Um, so I I go on the other ones sometimes. I go on the Holland. Mm -hmm. I do uh, carnival. I do all of those. This doesn't apply to them yet you never know about car carnival umbrella maybe down the future we don't know but um i always love to use the future cruise deposit mm -hmm. and i always put like 200 300 dollars on there and that's good for for two so years that's the or future that cruise deposit, year? right that's yes. the, that it used to be good for two years yes. it's now good for one year if you don't use it within the one year, we'll refund it automatically back to the card that it was taken from. Okay. The nice thing about the future cruise deposit, it can hold any cruise up to the length of 44 days, regardless of the value. Wow. So it could be like a ten, twenty thousand dollar cruise. It doesn't matter as long as the length of the cruise is less than 44 days. I love it. This is great. This, now, if you're hearing in the background, yes, I am not sitting on in some studio. <laughs> We are live. We are live. We we have uh, Mark Zuckerberg's uh, yacht, yacht behind us. Too bad it's not during the day. It's a beautiful it ship, is. and he says he's giving everything. I don't know about that. <laughs> Big ship, but um, we're having so much fun here on the majestic. You could hear in the background. Yeah. You get these packages, and you could enjoy it. What else am I missing? I mean, I wanted to tell you about that when you mentioned the carnival umbrella. Yes, yes I wanted yes, to yes. tell you that the packages, the 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 cruise credit that comes with the packages, obviously only applies to booking a princess future cruise. Yes, yes. However, the whole segments on the packages they are not attached to a princess cruise you can do them individually you can do them attached to a cruise you can do them attached to a carnival cruise so that makes the hotel section of the packages very flexible for our guests. So, for example, if you have Majestic Princess booked for a coastal cruise, yes. but you're doing Holland America in a couple of days' time, one of the packages comes with two two-night stays, a pre and a post stay. You can use one of those before you get onto the other ship. So we could use it under the Carnival umbrella. Not the cruise, not the, not the future cruise credits, but the, hotel but the hotels, size. we could actually use that under the Carnival umbrella. So if you're going on carnival you're going on holland you're going on any of those you other can ship use brands it independently it Independ does not even have oh to be attached to any of the cruises this is great this is what we've been waiting for exactly. this is what we've been waiting for now is there anything oh we also as you can see have the loyalty program this is our loyalty program right here everybody's probably looking at it going wait let's focus in on that what is that what is that i mean and if you're elite, you get all of this. You get all with the that benefits. Package. I believe um, free laundry is like the biggest, the biggest deal on board it these is. days. Everybody's like, okay, I'm doing my laundry. Um, I think producer, didn't somebody walk by you with their laundry when they were getting on the ship, right? They were getting on the ship and they were saying, oh, I'm, I'm going to have to do my laundry here. They're, so they actually yeah, sent they come. their laundry Our elite guests bring the laundry up on board, right. have it sent away, and elite guests get laundry complimentary. So right, that, and, and this, these upgrade or these packages, you can get the sweets, right? You yeah. can get the sweets, and with the sweets you have on some ships, you have the concierge, concierge that's lounge. up on top, the concierge right. lounge. Um, I mean, there's so much that you get from Princess itself. Correct. It's a lot. It's a lot, and even our beverage packages, they they are all inclusive beverage packages. So when we talk about um, the the terminology, can sometimes throw a guest off. Yes. Especially if I say, when making a booking, I ask the guest, "Do you take the beverage package?" Now that can be a mistake on my end because the guest will say, "I don't drink." But the beverage packages are actually called bundles, and yes, we need to get are. away from yes. the terminology yes. of beverage package. Thank you, thank you, thank we you. We need to start using the new terminology yes. bundles because they are covering gratuities, covering Wi-Fi. If you add up the tally, there's like 
fifteen dollars that you need to break even for drinks. Oh, and look at the pictures. If you're, if you it's get the, the, it's the premiere, right? Premiere, right. If you get the premiere package, you get all of your pictures. All of them. All of them. And to, like right now, I went to just run. I have the premiere, so I went to run off the um, just three. You get three photos, and then you can download you everything. You can download everything. Else. Well, those three photos were sixteen dollars, mm. but I was able to download all of my yeah. photos. Exactly. And that's that is a lot of money if you think yes, about it. That's sure. a lot. You get your discounts. You get ten percent off. Yep. Of a lot of things. Um, if you're elite, you get the mini bar. Yep. But I, I say everybody, the premier package is the best because there you get everything your is dining. unlimited. Your dining. The dining is unlimited. Yes. Well, it's not best. not unlimited. The specialty, I, I believe, it's one. Premier. One, yeah. And the premier, all your dining is unlimited all the time. So all the the so the specialty. All your specialty dining is unlimited now because Princess wow. Premier just went up. It was eighty dollars, if I'm correct, eighty dollars per person per day. Yeah. A couple of months ago. Right. It's it's now ninety dollars per and that person per day. Everything you can go to any of the speciality. If you wanted to go to Crown Girl for seven nights on your seven-day cruise, you could do it. And the premiere. Look at this, guys. We're learning more about this. This is great. So don't do plus. Do the premiere. premiere. Yeah, and right now, if you book, if you when you book Princess right now, and say you you get the premiere package, is it until, until December first? December 1st. You need to say hello so by December 1st. So, so December 1st, by December 1st, you get double cruise credit. Yeah. Now, would that also work? Because I know with the suites, you get So the suites double are getting two, and now you're doing double credits, you're getting Did, four. So wait, 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 wait. You get four credits. So if you book the suite, you get two credits. Exactly. And then you book the other suite, you get another two credits. And if you were solo in the suite, you're getting two for being solo, two for the suites, and oh, two wait, for wait, the wait, double credits. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so if you book the suite and you're single, you get three. Yeah. And then you book again, well, you book the premiere, you get six. It's a lot of points. So you get be six it's points. A, it's a loyalty accelerator program. Okay. Mm. And it's valid until December 1st. That is something. I mean, if you're wanting to get a lead, do it now. I mean, mm. pay for it. It's, it is well worth the cost. Because yeah. a lot of people have been trying to get to elite over the years. Yes. And yes. we haven't had so many programs that could accelerate this program as we currently do it. Oh, I've seen so many. They're like, I went to the future. This is why I'm here, too. I went to future cruises and I booked this one this one this one before December mm. and I'm going to be elite like you like <laughs> really yeah yeah I mean I have I, it's only two cruises but I'm getting four points per cruise and they're like I'm they're this jumping. is great they're yes. jumping quickly yes yes it's happening it's happening I'm loving it all right what else are we missing here we have the credit card financing we have the right? credit card we can apply for the princess credit card also through our uh, program that we have here it's a quick one it's just you scan the barcode we put in our uh, details and then they walk you through the steps now they is will that, let you know in 15 minutes if now is that something that say they're they're coming to get the packages um can they apply for the credit card they here? can it's not too common that they do it because okay. you require the full card when you buy the package and oh, um yeah they are only be... giving you the last four digits then we have okay. to call the bank that, and tell them okay. so it, it's it's doable but it's not too common that we make the credit card um, applications for guests so what i would suggest everybody do is if you haven't gone to future cruise um when you book your cruise apply for the the credit card because i believe you get like 200 dollars. get points yeah you get 200 right yeah you get well no it's twenty thousand points and you get yeah. After spending a certain amount, you're getting double points as well. You're getting like two. You're getting two points every time. Yes, and this is something that uh, we talk about on the show all the time. How to to extend that dollar? How to get those deals? We're finding out right now. Future cruise credit. Now, if I get a future cruise credit, I give you three hundred dollars, and it's for a future cruise credit. Am I getting anything like because I'm doing yes. it? That am I so getting? Like, so when you use a future cruise deposit yes. and you utilize that on a cruise, let's say we were booking a seven-day Mediterranean cruise, a balcony cabin, you yes. get onboard credit based off the length of the cruise versus the type of cabin that you choose. Your $100 still comes off the total of your cruise fare, but just for doing it that way, you get onboard credit for that. So we give free money. So so I, I put this form in. I say I put $300, I do a seven-day cruise, I could get between $25 and $100 
per cabin. Twenty-five right? and one hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty per but that's person. Per, per person. Because you do for your for your cabin. Yes. If you are two adults in the room, you need a hundred dollars per person to hold a cabin. That will trigger the system to give you onboard credit based off the length and the cabin type. So, if both of us would get the three hundred dollar future cruise credit, only one hundred each. Oh, one hundred each. One hundred each. We use wow. because if you're putting more than one hundred, it's taking off your total, but you're not reaping the benefits of doing okay. more than one deposit. You oh. only need one deposit because one deposit will trigger the system for onboard credit. Wow. Any additional deposits is just coming off your total and okay. you're not reaping the benefits of getting additional onboard credit. See, we're learning here because that's something I would do. I'd, oh, $200. Let's just put it in. <laughs> now I know. See, these yes. are the little tricks. Okay. Is there anything else we need to know about future cruising? I mean, everybody's watching this right now. And if you you are watching it, you see the signs, you could actually probably freeze it. And then scan it. Scan it, and you could watch it too. So mm. is there anything else we're missing? Always, what I just want to let uh, most of the most of your viewers know, always pop into the Future Cruise office. Yes. It's no harm, pop in, you see what they have going. We have a lot of promos that is not available online. We right. have a lot. We also very capable of assisting and making sure you are getting the best value for your money. We want to make sure you're in the right location. We want to make sure we don't put you in a cabin under yes. the buffet yes. and the cleaning and the night dragging the chairs. As, as the producer is shaking her head. <laughs> Yes, you don't want to be right under the Lido deck exactly. where you're hearing those chairs. Two a.m. Someone's dragging a table. Oh, shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened. I'm sure you get it's those. Happened. People have come to it's you happened. saying, "What's going on?" Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's there's so much yeah. that you guys could help assist. But while so many on board. things, so many things, and also try to book out as far as possible. Yes, book out as far as possible, especially if you like a certain cabin. If you require a certain cabin, if you require an accessible cabin, a wheelchair cabin, the cabins are the same price as the same category, but the doors are bigger. The room is made for an let's, accessible. Let's talk about that. Um, there's a lot of people that come on board that need some type of assistance. And I've seen them always at the guest services saying, my room isn't big enough. Mm. This is something that you're talking about. Okay. Book the room in advance for a larger room for Correct. assistance. Know what you re yeah. require when you're booking if your guest is wheelchair confined and that means that she cannot or he cannot get up from the chair so we need a door that can is the, that allows the chair to go in without being folded yes and there's not too many of those so yeah. book as far out as possible for those and we will help you on board to get those see and that's that's what people need to know um, I've also seen dogs Mm -hmm. Is that something that Princess Cruises they do with service animals? We do. Service but they animals? have to go through Princess. You they just have to go can't to show up with a, a service dog. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure lots happens. of people are going to bring out their own dogs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is true. So they have to go through. They have to go princess. through Princess. Don't, you don't bring in those mm -hmm. type of things. There's a here. couple of forms that need to be filled out when you bring the service dogs. Um, right. Like the vet um, certificates. The, yeah. the license of the, the the dog and so forth. So there's a lot of details about that, but they have to go through Princess directly. It's not necessarily something we can do on board. Yeah. We can make the booking. Right. And once you have a booking number, you can contact Princess and say, this is my booking number. I'm going on Majestic Princess, 12th of October. Um, I, I require a service to bring my service dog on board. And then that ball will start rolling. That, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what the, everybody needs to know. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? I'm thinking that's about it. Yeah. And just a little dancing, we gotta go down there. This is the last night for this cruise. Yes. I mean, the Majestic on the, uh, I mean, and oh, that is something we should talk about, repositioning cruises. Yeah. A lot of people, they're always worried about, oh, a repositioning cruise, you're not gonna have everything that the regular cruise has. I say no. Am I right? Yeah, you're going to get everything. Everything is the same. Everything's the same. And it's actually less. Yeah. It really is less. It's cheaper. It is cheaper. It's cheaper. And you might miss one port. Um, you have more days at sea, but you're enjoying the ship. Correct. You yeah. get to get you get to experience the ship in its full in yes. its full form. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, repositioning crews are very interesting. Lots of interesting guests that you meet on board because there's certain guests who only do repositioning crews. Yes, cruises. they do. Yes, yes. I've met so many on on board. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh no, we only do repositioning. Yeah. But on for like the majestic, it's coming down from Vancouver 
down to LA and then it does um, Cabo for two days and then it's coming back and then it's doing another seven we're gonna days? Do, we're, gonna do, we're gonna do LA for a couple of runs and then Majestic Princess is doing it 51 day. Yes. From LA all the way to Fort Lauderdale around South America. So all our South American ports, 51 days from LA to Fort Lauderdale. Now what I'm hearing, you might want to check into that. Everybody's been saying 56. 50, ah, I think 51. All right. All right, we're going to have to put a bet on that. We're going to have to bet on that, for <laughs> sure. We have to. But if, I mean, still, 51 days, you're going around the Cape, you go to Florida, you do a couple of rounds there. It's interesting also because we're going, we, we for some reason, well, Captain always explains to me, Captain says, Brandon, we have to take the long way around because the other ships one. can go through the yes. Panama Canal. This one, ha it's a little bit too the top heavy or bottom heavy. We don't know where she is, but it is a little heavy. Yes, correct. But um, that's that's the great thing about royal ships is that like this one is built differently. Mm. The royal is built differently. Majestic is very unique in her yes. own way. Yes, yes. I mean, all of these ships have different things. And mm. then she goes across the pond. Correct. And she'll be in the Mediterranean a little bit, and then she goes into dry dock. Yeah. And there, from what I'm understanding, Harmony is going away. They're th putting in uh, Rudy's. The I believe a lot inside. of the Asian influence is coming yes. off. Yes. A lot of the Asian influence is coming off. She was supposed to be in the Asian market, then COVID and everything right. happened. So they were like, okay, well, she was supposed to go to Asia. Let's put her somewhere where it starts with an A and ends with an A. And she yeah. ended up in Alaska. Yeah, and she went to Alaska. <laughs> go figure that one. Yeah. And now, and now when she's done, she's going to come back and end up in New York. Good. And I will actually be on that voyage I believe it's a year from around now mm -hmm. in October when she's back. So I'm going to, going to come back on board to see and, what has happened, what's yes, changed. And I'm going to fly, I think, to Canada, right? It's going to be Canada, Canada, New Canada England. again. And then we're going down to Boston. So it's this is, I mean, there's so much that this ship. And there's so is much ready. more coming also, eh? There's oh, a yes. lot coming. Yes. Sun, uh, Star Princess is debuting in October of 25. She's going to be yep. the first of her kind in Alaska. She's yeah. coming to Alaska in 2026. Interesting cruise for her on her repositioning as well. It's a 20 day from Fort Lauderdale to Seattle through the yes. canal. Yes. Wait. She's going she through can Panama she Canal. Can She's going through the new locks. In 2025? 26. In 2026, Star she's going through the locks. Yeah. We're going to have to book that. That will be 20 days. I've already started booking it in 2026. Oh my gosh. And I could get, I would love to get the, the aft rooms right oh, on the back. The premium end. balcony. Oh well, yeah. my gosh. A premium right there. <laughs> and because everybody's been asking me, so are they bringing new ships? I'm like, the star is coming. Mm. The what? The star will be born. Trust me. It is coming. <laughs> Scott, you have it all figured out. Yes, it's, it's such a beautiful Princess Cruise Line is a wonderful cruise line. I think, I hope everybody will enjoy this and take away some stuff that maybe yeah. you didn't know about um, and if you guys are listening and you're listening to this I think I'm actually gonna put this on YouTube I re very rarely do but I think I will put down in the comment section what you would want to know about the future cruise credits and I'm gonna email Brandon 100% and we will get those answers for you and we'll get them Right to you. I mean, could they call you to do future They can't call us, unfortunately. Really? They can contact the office directly. They'll be able to give, obviously, the same okay. information as me. Perfect. But by all means, uh, Scott, get the questions out to them. Pop me an email with what's, what's requested from them, and we'll see how we can answer see, all of those. Things. we are so... I'm going cruising again. Thank you so much. Not for a problem. Appreciate it. Yes. And until next time, everyone, listen to that. Oh, the music now at ends. The, at the end. Until next time, everyone. Keep on cruising. Have a good one.